Well, good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to look at the story that Jesus talks about sowing some seeds. Now, I really love sowing on my sewing machine. Do you think that's what he might be talking about, boys and girls? Sewing on a sewing machine or with a needle and thread? Or a different type of sewing like Mr Firth or Mr Redfern might do on their farms? I think so. So if I wanted to have a flower garden or if I was like Mr Firth or Mr McLennigan or Mr Redfern and I wanted to have a wheat crop, what do you think I might need? I could need some water. I could need gloves or a spade or a tractor or things like that. But there's something I might need to put in the ground. What might I... Thank you. I'm sure you're all going to say that. Seeds. All right. I would need seeds. If I wanted to grow flowers, I need flower seeds. If I wanted to grow tomatoes, I need tomato seeds. If I wanted to grow cotton, I'd need cotton seeds. So let us look at the Bible story Jesus told us. He was talking to a big mob of people. Now this is from Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 13, 1 to 23. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he threw the seed among the um, among the on uh, threw the seed about, some landed on the path, and birds swooped down and ate it. Some fell on rocky places where there was very little soil. It sprang up quickly, but when the sun came up, it withered. The sun is coming. Because it didn't have, it didn't have, have any roots. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. <laughs> Still, other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a good crop, much, much more than the seed that was planted. Jesus then said, well, some of what he said was, he who has ears, let him hear. Bit of a funny thing to say. We all have ears, don't we? I wonder, do we hear? Now, Jesus' followers were there with the big mob and they had trouble understanding what Jesus was saying. So Jesus did some explaining. In verse 19, he said, The seed on the path is like people who hear the word of God and do not understand it, and the devil snatches away, a bit like, the seed on the path where the birds came and (coughs) snatched it away. In verse 20, the seed that falls on the rocky ground is like people who hear the word, that's the Bible, and are excited. But since it has no root, as soon as trouble comes or persecution, they just don't understand enough and they fall away. The seeds that grow in the weeds are like people who listen but don't really hear, like coming to church a few times, listening to the messages, but get distracted by work and money and sport and activities and busyness. It goes in one ear and out the other. These people prefer to live their lives their way instead of putting God first. They're choked by life. Jesus described one other place for the seeds to potentially fall. In verse 23, he said, good soil. He said, some people will hear God's word, listen to it, and understand. These people flourish and will have lives that bless bless others so others can hear the good news about Jesus. We need to remember the Bible is God's word. It's God's seed, if you like, not just a bunch of stories. We need to listen, we need to hear and share the good news of Jesus with our friends, our family and people that we meet. 
We plant seeds, God's good news and promises. That's our job as God's mob. And then we continue to pray, pray for these people, that God will help them and grow them to come to him and know him. We'll just finish in prayer if you want to bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for your word, the Bible. Please help us to understand it and share it, just like planting seeds. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.